Yeah, you read the title and it's true, the starting armor in God of War Ragnarok might be one of the best in the game. It's also super easy to upgrade and lets you use a ton of amazing enchantments that kind of change the game. We will tell you how to get those with no story spoilers whatsoever, only for if you haven't finished the first Vanaheim story mission, which is 7-8 to eight hours into the game. If you've been enjoying God of War Ragnarok and the content on the channel so far, then leaving a like would really help us out, subscribe for way more videos like this one, and let's go! So we know that in a previous video, video that upgrading the starting armor was not a good idea because it doesn't give you any perks, even after upgrading it a few times. And while that last part is certainly true, we have gotten a lot of comments from people like Jay and Alan telling us that the stat increases you get from fully upgrading this armor are pretty great. So I checked and yeah, that is definitely true. Starting at 7th level, all of the armor pieces give you a boost in every single core stat. At max level, you're looking at 153 points in strength and defense and 100 8 in runic vitality cooldown and luck and the only other armor piece that gives you a boost to all of your stats is the berserker chest piece but you can only get that one very late into the game we will link to a video on how to get it in the description but as you can see the stats are overall less when compared to the chest from the starter set especially the difference in defense is really visible here 27 on the berserker armor you get near the end of the game and 68 on the shoulder guard of survival and while a different armor that is more focused on defense like the Steinbjorn placard will definitely give you a bigger boost in that specific stat, you are losing a lot of points elsewhere. So if you are looking for the best all-around armor that doesn't ignore a single stat, the starting gear is definitely the big winner. It's also one of the easiest armors to upgrade in the game, so you can simply upgrade alongside your endgame armors as well, as next to the regular upgrade materials like forged iron and dwarven steel, there are very little special resources needed to get the set to max level. The chest piece requires some smoldering embers, which you get from Muspelheim challenges, the wrist requires tempered remnants, which can be found in chests in a specific endgame activity that I don't want to spoil, and finally, the waist needs some sparkling crystals, which you can find in the crater area of Vanaheim. But that's pretty much it when it comes to special resources. The rest you need is just hack silver and basic resources, which definitely isn't true for other armor sets in the game, especially on their higher level upgrades. Also worth noting is that the armor looks really cool when it's fully upgraded, a lot darker and a lot of subtle gold touch when compared to the original variant. And thanks to having all stats at a high level, you also get access to many of the special enchantments in the game that often have stat requirements on them you need to meet. Like this emblem of illusion, for example, that greatly increases the distance on your evade if your cooldown is over 60. Which is something you already get from wielding two pieces of the upgraded survival armor, so no reason not to use this enchantment. Because it really makes a difference when compared to the basic dodge, which you of course perform by tapping the X button once. As you can see, it is much faster and covers much more distance with this Emblem of Illusion equipped. And the same goes for your dodge rolls you perform by double tapping the dodge button as well. You get this enchantment from defeating a grim boss known as Ormstunga, who you'll come across as part of the Lost Treasure Favor in Svartalfheim. You find it over here on the map and can only access it after completing the second main quest in this realm. But the best enchantment to get, in my opinion, is the Crest of Desperate Heroics, which you get from a Casualty of War Favor in Vanaheim. These are relatively simple favors to complete, they all take place in the new part of the map you unlock by following the Scent of Survival quest, and then it's just a matter of collecting two halves of an object. For this enchantment, we're looking for the brooch, of which the first part is located over here, pretty much straight to the left from where you first enter the area, so pick it up and talk to the ghost. And then we want to head over here on the map, just keep heading east from the first piece until you see these poison plants, follow that path, and then you will find the second part on a cliff overlooking the the valley. And that's literally all it takes to get this amazing enchantment that will make you invincible if your health reaches critical levels. This one requires 100 vitality, which again shouldn't be a problem with an upgraded armor. And then whenever you take damage that pushes your health bar into the red, you will instead receive a shield that grants you invulnerability for 6 seconds, so you don't take damage and enemy attacks just bounce off you. And you also get some extra strength for the duration as well. And then after that buff ends, you also gain a short health boost to heal you back up. So effectively, you now have a get out of jail free card for every time an enemy pushes your health to a critical point, which is really nice. And while the description does not note this, the buff from this enchantment actually works on a one minute cooldown, which means that especially in some of the longer Muspelheim challenges, having the Crest of Desperate Heroics active can save your life multiple times in a single attempt. And since the cooldown seems to start when the buff triggers, your first six seconds of waiting, you'll be completely invincible, making survival even lighter. 
likelier. But you can do even more for your survivability by also equipping the regenerating essence and greater regenerating essence. Both of these drop from bosses in Vanaheim and they will allow you to constantly regenerate health even in combat. Now it's not super quick or anything but it definitely adds up over the course of longer fights. Obviously the healing you get from the greater essence does more than the regular one but combining them by slotting both in your amulet will give you even more health back over time. The greater essence does require 170 vitality for the perk to work which even with the upgraded starting armor is still a bit much. So just check for some extra items that boost that stat like these pommels of the nine realms for the blades to get what you need. If you want to know how to get those we covered that in our all berserkers video which we'll link to in the video description both of these enchantments drop from a drake boss in vanaheim and with each one being part of a quest they are relatively easy to find you get the regular regenerating essence from the quaking hollow quest which triggers pretty much as soon as you reach the sinkholes area of the map take the zip line down from over here and then you just continue on the only linear path you can go to which will eventually take you to the crack jaw boss for the essence you get the greater regenerating essence from the path of destruction quest you get when reaching the jungle area of the crater which starts over here at night. After returning the water you will eventually get to this spot on the map where the quest will start. And then all you have to do is trap an animal inside this cage and return to the boss arena where you can now fight the boss and grab the essence. And there are some great offensive enchantments too like the stunning fang that unleashes a shockwave when you hit a stunned enemy very similar to the concussive waves caused by a target afflicted by Sonic. But these waves also deal stun damage meaning you can hammer down on a stun target to stun another target and for each hit on a stun target you have a pretty high chance to get a buff that increases both your strength and stun damage which can stack up to three times and lasts for 10 seconds so you want to use your bare hands to build up stun quicker and then instead of going straight for the r3 finisher you want to hit a stun target a couple of times hopefully stunning even more targets of course as well as increasing your own damage and you can even pair this with the weighted recovery handle that recharges your relic cooldown on a stun finisher because of how easy it is to stun multiple enemies with this enchantment equipped. So while you can craft the handle at the blacksmith, the enchantment is from another casualty of war favor. This time we're looking for a scroll and the first part is hidden in a cave you can easily reach from the western plains mystic gateway. Watch out for the exploding plants when you retrieve it and then it's on to the second part. Which is actually really close by, of course no spoilers, but by the point you get here you will know how to blow up these rock walls, so do that, grab the second piece and you will be rewarded with the stunning fang enchantment. And another enchantment that is amazing with this armor set is one that really fits my playstyle as the kinetic resilience enchantment lets you build up more permafrost or immolation on combo finishers as well as lose less charge when you get hit. I already talked about how I love using this mechanic in combination with the grips and pommels of the nine realms in a previous build video we did which is not the berserker one but the one where I went in depth on my build with those items. I will link to that one at the end of this video. Video. But yeah, this kinetic resilience enchantment makes it even easier to trigger the weapon buffs you get on a full charge because you can charge up faster and you don't have to worry as much about getting hit. Like here you can see how one hit without the enchantment takes about half the buff in one hit, but with it on it only takes about a quarter, which is easy enough to build back up. This one is also an easy grab from a casualty of war quest, this time we're picking up two pieces of a stein with one located here next to where you open the dam in the return to river quest. and the the second one is over here in a boss arena that you can only reach at night. So just be prepared for a fight and afterwards grab the second piece of the stein and your enchantment as well. Subscribe for way more God of War Ragnarok videos. We got a ton more amazing builds and tips coming your way. And of course, leave a like if you enjoyed this one. If you want, you can watch our previous video on another great build that lets you melt bosses in a matter of seconds by clicking on the screen. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.